All right, so today we're doing uh, natural exponents, a new topic for us, um, and it goes like this. A long, long time ago, people had to write things like this. They had to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. After a while, people would get tired of writing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It just gets old after a while. So people decided that um, we should write a abbreviated version of this, a more concise form of it. And so they invented these things called exponents and they said, you know what, instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2 5 times, I'm going to write 2 and I'm going to write a little 5 on the upper right hand corner. And that's how the numbers on the upper right hand corner were born. They were born um, out of the desire to abbreviate uh, an item being multiplied by itself so many times. And later on these things got a name. They, this, this piece right here, that was called the exponent. And this piece right here, that's called the base. And so the meaning of it is that you write the base this many times, the exponent number of times. That's the meaning of it. And, and then uh, there are some consequences to that. And let's see if we can take a look at some of these consequences. So consider this one. Uh, this expression here with an x and then the default operation here is times, multiplication, and a y. And a, number on the upper right hand corner, that's a natural exponent right there, a natural number, 3. That, we agreed, was abbreviation for writing the y three many times. The base, keep in mind that the base is only whatever is next to the exponent. That's the base. So in this case, this would mean x times y times y times y. Three y's. That's the definition of a natural exponent. A natural exponent is just an abbreviated way of writing the y three times that's what it means. The base is y. Okay, pretty easy, right? How about this one? Again, in this case, the base is x, and you should write it two times. So this means five times x times x, and this is by natural exponents. Okay, that's what that two means. You can also go backwards on that, by the way. Suppose I had uh, three times uh, x times x times x times x. Suppose that was given, I could say, you know what, we have an abbreviated way of writing this. This means 3 times x to the fourth. This is by natural exponents. So you can do it both ways. Either expand it using the exponent or collapse it using the exponents. Either way is good. It's all natural exponents, the definition of what these numbers mean on the upper right hand corner. Okay? How about this one? In this case, the base is, again, whatever is next to it. Of course, there's an exception here. There's parentheses. Whatever is next to it means the whole thing inside the parentheses. So this this is the exponent, uh, and the base is right here. This right here is the exponent, the 2, and the whole thing here is the base. So that means you should write the base two times. x plus y times x plus y. That's by natural exponents. Now later on we'll learn other things like foiling and whatnot, and we'll learn how to proceed from there. But for now, we're just practicing our skills on trying to understand exactly, exactly what that 2 means on the upper right-hand corner. Okay, there should be no doubt about it. That 2 means write the thing two times. That's what a natural exponent means. Okay? Uh, and if you understand that, you understand so many things. You don't have to memorize any of these rules that uh, a lot of times we're asked to memorize. I'll show you that in a second. All right, 3, this is the exponent, and the base is x x plus 1. The 5 is not part of the base because it's outside the parentheses. This exponent only applies to this base, so we should go with 5 and then x plus 1 in parentheses and then another x plus 1 in parentheses and then another x plus 1 in parentheses. That's 3 x plus 1's as the exponent indicates. Okay, that's by natural exponents. Again, we don't know how to precise Maybe we're not sure how to finish this. Actually, we do have all the axioms already, but <clears throat> we want we're not we're not going to focus on that at the moment. We're just going to focus on understanding what these numbers mean on the upper right hand corner of another number. Here's an interesting one: the the negative two. Uh, watch, we're going to do the two examples. This one is negative two to the fourth over parentheses this way, and this one is without the parentheses, and they mean separate things. That one means something where the base is the entire thing, negative two. This one means something else where the base is only the 2. So this one would mean negative 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's what the natural exponent means, meaning that the exponent only applies to whatever's next to it. The base is whatever's next to it. 
This one on the other hand is different. This one says negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That's natural exponents. Again, the base uh, is only whatever is next to the exponent. The exponent applies to whatever is next to it. All right, so now uh, for some excellent uh, ideas that are timeless, people have been um, preaching these theorems for a long time. We can actually understand them now. So, so a lot of times people are confused. When you have 5 to the 4th and 5 to the 3rd, what should you do? Should you multiply? These are being multiplied, so should you multiply the 4 and the 3 to get 12, or should you do add them to get 7? And people don't know which way to go. Well, I have good news for you. You don't have to remember anything other than what these numbers mean. If you remember what the number means on the upper right hand corner, the next exponent, you can figure out everything yourself in two seconds. Let's see, this 4 means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 4 times. And that 3 means 5 times 5 times 5. That's the natural exponent definition. That's all you have to understand that what these numbers mean on the upper right hand corner. That one means write it 4 times, that one means write it 3 times. Therefore, this means 5 written 7 times, uh, again by natural exponents backwards. Instead of writing 5 7 times, I could just write 5 with a 7 on the upper right hand corner. And you see the pattern here, what happened? How do we get the 7? Well, we had 4 plus 3. That's how we got the 7. So you really should, in this case, when you have the same base, same base and various exponents, you can just add the exponents. So this is, that's why this is called J, just add the exponents. Okay, J, just add the exponents. When the same base is the same, and you have various exponents, just add them. Here, watch this. Uh, again, you don't have to memorize anything other than understand what these numbers mean on the upper right hand corner. That number on the upper right hand corner, I know, I understand it means write, twi write x twice. This one over here, I know it means write x however many times, in this case five. That's what natural exponents mean. That's what those numbers mean on the upper right hand corner. Therefore, this means write the x uh, seven times. Again, natural exponents. The thing to do here is to note, uh, all we do is just add the exponents. And so, uh, what happens if the base is different? Should you multiply them? Should you add them? What should you do? Well, you don't have to memorize anything. You just have to understand what those numbers mean on the upper right hand corner. That means write it two times, and this means write it however many times. Five times. That's what the definition is. And so, here you really can't go any further. You can't combine them and say, oh, that's uh, seven fours. It's not, or that's not seven threes either. So pretty much you can't do uh, much. So you go you're back to where you started, four to the five. Um, and so the moral here, the moral story is, don't do it when the bases are different. When the bases are different, you can't collapse them into one. Okay, and again, the other part of the moral is, you don't have to memorize anything. It's the, it's the beautiful thing about it is, all you have to do is understand what those numbers mean on the upper right hand corner. Okay? Alright, how about another scenario? What if you had power to power? This is power to power. Well, you don't have to memorize anything. I'm telling you how powerful this definition is. Look, that 3 right there, that 3 just means write whatever's underneath my finger here three times. So I will do that. 5 square, 5 square, 5 square. That's what natural exponents means. It means write that thing that many times. And then the next step, well, how do you do that? Here, luckily, we have the same base, same base. So therefore, I could just say this is 5, 2 plus 2 plus 2. This is by just adding the exponents. This was from the previous step, so it's 5 times 3 times 2 uh, or 6. Um, so the reason I do it this way is because you see what the pattern is. Whenever it's power to power, what you do is you multiply this. 3 times 2 is 6. This is called power to power. We condense all these steps. We collapse them into one idea. Power to power. Okay. Whenever you have one base, one base with possibly an exponent here, possibly an exponent outside, you can go ahead and multiply them. Uh, or if you forget, don't even worry about it. Just go with your definition for what these numbers mean on the upper right hand corner and you'll get there safely and uh, surely. Okay, uh, try some more examples. <clears throat> okay, what does this one mean? This one means, uh, well, think about it, what it means. This means, um, right, whatever's underneath my finger, five times. 
So you have x to the fourth, x to the fourth, x to the fourth, uh, whoa, that was not x to the fourth, x to the fourth, x to the fourth. So I've written it, <coughs> uh, I've written it one, two, three, four, five, just like this thing says. The upper number on the upper right hand corner says write it five times. So I did. Now I can imagine it, or I can use j, just at the exponents. I can imagine this is xxxx four times, this one is xxxx four times, this one is xxx four times. It's a lot of x's. So in the end I know I'll have just uh, five, well this thing always does it, five times four x's uh, by just adding the exponents. Okay, four plus four plus four plus four plus four. So together we call this power to power. When you have one base here and an exponent and then outside possibly another exponent, what you're doing is you're multiplying these exponents power to power. It also works for cases where you have more than one item inside the parentheses. If you have a series of things being multiplied, key theorem is multiplied, you don't have to remember anything. You can just remember what those, you can just understand what that number means on the upper right hand corner. That means write whatever's underneath my finger four times. So I would do that 3x square, 3x square, 3x square, 3x square. This is by natural exponents, meaning that that's exactly what that 4 means on the upper right hand corner. And then you can see that you have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times, and then you have <coughs> x square, x square, x square, x square, 4 times. This is just by uh, commuting things. This is called commutativity law of multiplication and also associative law of multiplication, shuffling things around. So of course that gives you 3 to the 4th and x to the 8th by just adding the exponents. And so you see what happened here. Um, again, this is called power to power. You don't always have to do this. You can just use power to power. I'm just explaining how power, power, power to power uh, can be proven. This 4 gets multiplied times that and the 4 gets multiplied by that. So you get 3, you get 4 threes, four threes and you get 8 x's. All right, next time I think we'll just uh, collapse all these steps and use power to power. Let's see how that would work in real practice. So that would get multiplied there, that would get multiplied that way, that would get multiplied there. The key thing here is that you only have one term here, so everything here is being multiplier. There's no addition or subtraction in here, otherwise things get a little bit more tricky. Uh, we'd have to deal with that in a separate case. This is a to the sixth, this is b to the 21, and this is c to the sixth power by power to power. That's how you would do it. Okay, that's uh, power to power. Yeah, what if you had plus here? Well, again, if you're not sure it's easy, go back to this definition. What does that number mean on the upper right hand corner? That means whatever, write whatever's underneath my fingers twice. So I will do that. That's a squared plus b times a squared plus b. That's by natural exponents. That's what that two means. And then you see you can't shuffle that, you can't commute, there's no um, commutativity law of multiplication because this is addition and there's no associative law of multiplication because this is addition and there's no associative law of addition because this is multiplication. So you got a mixture of the two operations, you really can't be moving the parentheses around or any of that stuff. That's pretty much as far as we can go using these ideas. We could go further using distributive laws, but uh, that's for another chapter which I'd rather not focus on right now. I just want to focus on these exponents for now. Okay, For sure you can't just shuffle things around. you got a mixture of operations, plus, times, plus. You can't use any of these things. All right, um, I, think, uh, I think that takes us to the end of the lecture for today. Uh, practice your exponents. I've set up a lot of flashcards and whatnot. And I think you'll have a good time and I think you'll really appreciate understanding what those numbers mean on the upper right hand corner and of course the two theorems that we learn we learn a definition natural exponents this is the things we learned today natural exponents we learn j when you have the same base x to the a x to the b all you do is add the exponents x to the a plus b and we learn power to power x to the a b becomes x to the a times b as opposed to that all right that's a little quick summary of what we did today we'll see you guys here next time Peace.